A while ago, I published a video of English flower fields from above, where I showed the lovely fields of poppies, rhododendrons, and other flowers that we encountered. I'll drop a link in the description if you haven't seen it already. But today, we explore from the ground as well as the sky our two favorite flower fields. One is in the Cotswolds, near Snows Hill, and the other is on the edge. I'm here at the Confetti Flower Fields near Pershore in Worcestershire. And as you can see behind me, it's magenta flowers as far as the eye can see. But actually, it's just because I'm standing in the magenta part of the field. They actually have an array of colors, white, purple, pink, magenta. And what they use these beautiful flowers for, mostly delphiniums, is making flower petal confetti which is a beautiful and sustainable alternative to throwing confetti at a wedding. So it's really popular for weddings around the world. And what they do is they open up their fields for 10 days each year to let people come and wander through the fields. It's fun to see all the people working at the fields embracing the floral excitement of the harvest season, including this parking attendant and these people working at assembling the flowers into bunches which were for sale there on the edge of the fields. wanted to come here on a bright sunny day with a brilliant blue sky but that didn't happen because the fields are only open for 10 days every summer and that's the only wonder of opportunity you have and I looked at the weather and it was supposed to rain every day except for this day so at least it's not raining but we would have liked a nice bright sunny day. This is what I feel like most days, the one magenta flower standing out in the crowd. Look, I found a magenta friend in the purple section of the flower fields. I love it when people are friendly enough to take a selfie with a crazy American stranger who is obsessed with magenta. I finally got Ian to pose with me for a selfie before we left the confetti fields. In addition to the delphinium fields being grown for confetti, they also have some lovely wildflower fields here in Wick. I loved seeing the brilliant orangey red poppies and I love seeing the happy bees buzzing around between the flowers. Here, in a little corner of the field, I found my favorite flower of the summer. I saw a lot of magenta flowers last summer, and many of them I still need to share in upcoming Cotswold Gardens videos. But this little beauty just captured my heart. It is the most perfect shade of magenta. And now let's go visit the amazing lavender fields. These so-called Cotswold Lavender Fields say on the sign they are in Broadway, but they actually are a bit closer to Snows Hill. 
Both of these Cotswold villages are lovely and we encourage you to visit either or both in conjunction with a stop at these amazing lavender fields. One thing that's really different about these lavender fields from the other flower fields we have seen and visited is that the minute you walk up to the fields, you are greeted with this amazing smell of lavender. And the other flower fields really haven't had a fragrance, but this smell is amazing. hum of bees. It's this big buzzing sound. Sounds like a drone flying, <laughs> but it's just all the bees loving being in this lavender. It's nice because in between the rows of lavender is all this clover that the bees are also really enjoying. Across the road are fields of linseed. And the flowers close up every evening and then every morning in the sunshine they open up and have a wonderful color of blue. In the fields they are trialing new types of lavender and growing techniques and actually the clover between the rows of lavender is a natural nitrogen fixing companion which helps the lavender to grow. I found some magenta clovers. Once again, I must approach a total stranger who is wearing magenta and talk them into taking a selfie with me. I am truly mad as a box of frogs. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to click the like button so YouTube will share the video with more viewers. This is an amazing field of wildflowers, cornflowers, and then these bright yellow flowers, but there's always one magenta renegade. That's me. I believe these are corn marigolds and they are just beautiful, so bright yellow. There are these lovely picnic tables next to the yellow wildflowers, but here's the really cool picnic table. You can have a picnic table right in the midst of all the beautiful fragrant lavender. The gift shop here at the Lavender Fields is packed full of delightful lavender products. Everything from toiletries and body lotions to heat wraps, to kitchen and home products to food. Of course, since I'm a cookie monster, I selected a pack of lavender biscuits to try, but before eating it, I had to snap a photo of a biscuit in front of the lavender plants for the gram. Please do follow Magenta Otter on Instagram or Facebook if you can. I can report to you that the biscuit was delicious. Very melt-in-your-mouth buttery shortbread with a mild and pleasant lavender flavor. No, it did not taste like soap. If you fancy a trip to the lavender fields this summer or the confetti fields, please check the links I've dropped in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video of the flower fields we've seen in England, summer 2021. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified of all our upcoming videos where we visit amazing English gardens.
Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.